Hello pilots and welcome to another live commentary. This time I actually came around and uh, tried to record the event that's currently going on. Uh, it's part of the Winter Games, Bioflame it's called. Basically what you have to do is get through checkpoints, uh, kill some medium tanks and armored vehicles on the way, kill some balloons, kill some more medium tanks and land on an airstrip. Now. I've been trying to get uh, footage of this yesterday, but no one's playing tier 3 or tier 4, so I always got into jet jet battles with my Mustang, which is bad. Uh, let's hope no one goes after us this time. And they do, they do, they fucking do. Leave me alone. Nope, 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 I don't like you. Well, at least my team is helping this time. Zerg 90. Alright, back on topic. Um, this event is actually pretty fun. If you have something fast like uh, like the Americans, even though the Mustang sometimes has, has troubles with that. Uh, but yeah. Oh, they already got to the tanks. Come on, get to the checkpoint. There we go. Alright, so now we, go, uh, we have gone to the first three checkpoints. Now we have to kill those medium tanks as fast as we can. One thing you can do is either sti stick to the objective, or you can still attack the enemy. I have ground ammo on this on this Mustang, so I will try to kill myself some tanks as well. You definitely need some type of bomber in this game mode, but um, as a bomber you don't really get anywhere in time. See that guy's trying to sabotage so that. That guy's trying to sabotage us now. Come here you little bitch. Oh there goes his wing. Alright! I didn't expect that to go that smoothly. Get some more ground targets on the way. Oh crap. One, to, one thing you definitely have to do is always keep your speed up. If you start slowing down too much, you are dead meat. Come on. There we go. Fault is dead. Uh, we actually—it looks like we are winning this. Actually, the enemy isn't the enemy isn't doing a great job at taking out our our ground targets. I'll try and get that last tank, and hopefully we can actually win this one. Nah, I didn't quite get it. Alright, let's go for a reload. Um, I think the P47 will probably take out that medium tank. Oh, there we go. Alright. Next phase, rec race to the next checkpoint. Going back uh, going back on topic, yeah. The Americans are pretty good aircraft for this. They're fast, they have a lot of ammo. Um, especially the 50 cals are more than enough to take out anything on this, uh, on this game mode. The hardest thing you have to crack is uh, medium tanks, which is pretty easy when you have uh, ground... ground uh, yeah, the ground ammo belt equipped. Of course, the problem is the start, especially because there are just some guys who love to fuck your day up. They'll just go after you no matter no matter what. There you go. Next stage: barrage balloons. One thing you you definitely have to look out for is um, those things are attached to little cables. I don't know if you can see that on YouTube right now, but don't fly through those cables. You will die immediately. No, does we have one on nine? Ah, uh, not good. I think I'm going to run for a bit. We have one on nine trying to catch up with us. My engine isn't doing too too great either. All right, let's help our guy out. He's on fire, he's down. 
Typhoon coming up. I'm not liking this. Yeah, I shouldn't have. Uh, I shouldn't have stayed for that long. But yeah, so far, so far our team is doing pretty good actually. I like that. The left you guys were horrible. Uh, I just got in teams that did, had no idea what they were doing. Alright, next up the XP50. We've got round target ammo for both the 12.7mm and the 20mm for this one. I guess there's still one. Yeah, there's still one pet, one group of medium tanks we have to kill after these barrage balloons. And XP50 is actually a pretty good plan for this event. It's really fast. Uh, it's really maneuverable at high speeds. And it has a very good armament as well. Let's talk about that P37 of ours. Come here, yeah. Come here, yeah. Uh, Yak90 doesn't know I'm here. No, he does. <laughs> Come on. You know you want it. Well, this guy's persistent. Come on. I just want to be friends with you. I have no idea why my shots aren't hitting at all. Come on. He's wiggling. Will the crews die? I forgot behind, behind me could refrain from shooting me. That would be awesome as well. I don't going to stick on this guy, he's just trying to distract us. Let's go to the next objective. In other news, um, the 1.43 dev server seems to be up already. There are a few aircraft that are going to be released with this patch, which are quite interesting. I don't know if you have heard about the Horton 229, which everybody is hyping about right now. <laughs> the thing is all over Reddit. Uh, it definitely seems to be an interesting aircraft. If I don't, if I remember correctly, it has a battle rating of 7.0 and an armament of two 30 millimeters, uh, 30 millimeter cannons, pretty much like the ME 163 and uh, similar low tier jets. Oh, we are definitely winning this one. Awesome. There's another airplane that I'm interested in actually. The Japanese are getting the... I think it's a Kawasaki? No. I don't know the manufacturer's name uh, by heart. But it's the J7W1 if I'm not mistaken. It's basically a Japanese version of the um, XP55. Um, it has an interesting loadout. The um, engine is on the back. Uh, as well as the wing, it's uh, just a swept wing. It's an unusual aircraft. So if you know the XP-55, it's basically the same, the same thing. It even seems to have the same armament. But the main difference is, I've seen that the J7 can actually carry bombs, uh, as far as we can tell from the pictures. Well, not very big bombs, but at least uh, some kind of bombs, because the XP-55 cannot carry bombs and. It hinders the, uh, the plane sometimes. Alright, final stretch. The Ak-9 is back there. Yeah, the enemy team's pretty screwed. I'm actually first. Well. And there we go, we must land on that airfield now and capture it. Also, um... Don't try to land on that airfield before you um, finish the last objective, because it will explode randomly. <laughs> I've tried that once and it didn't go it didn't go very well. It just barely touched the ground and exploded immediately. Alright, let's try not to break this thing. Because I would like to actually like to survive for once. If you're wondering what I'm doing, um shooting your uh, cannons and such uh, actually slows down your aircraft physics. So I'm using that to slow down before I 
hit the ground, and whilst I hit the ground as well. Just so I can slow down a bit better. Because this thing, the XP-50 is an awesome aircraft, but the brakes are not very good. If you land at, I don't know, 300 kilometers per hour in an arcade, yeah, you stand a good chance of running out of a runway before you actually break. And once you're on an airstrip, you can pretty much do what you want, you can roll around. Actually, it's be better if you roll around so you don't uh, get surprised by nasty bombs dropped from 5,000 kilometers, 5,000 meters as well. Need for speed, War Thunder. And there we go, that's game. Oh yeah. So yeah, you can see GFAT is pretty fun. Uh, I would stick to low tiers though, because high tiers tend to get a little bit frustrating, especially uh, later in the day. And it was first win of the day. 25k silver lines, not bad. Almost 6k research points, which is awesome. Oh, and I finally got some upgrades for the P-51. That's my final en engine upgrade. Awesome! This will be awesome now. Uh, let me see. I'll go for A-frame. Alright then. Four kills, not bad. We got the most kills of our, out of our team. Uh, for ground kills, I tend to do more than that. Um, I, I Usually I'm the first one at uh, the medium tanks and I tend to take out armored vehicles. All the time. And that's it. If you want to play, let me see. Yeah, the event ends in one day, so at the time of this upload, it's at least still 24 hours till the event ends. So go ahead, jump into the into Warfunner and play. That was it for this time. Um, my name has been Mike Goes Boom. Thank you for watching.